Federica De Micheli, working in Salto di Uterum as a project officer. In the last two years, my responsibility is to organize uh, the accreditation process in South Mediterranean countries and uh, the Naravi midterm evaluation. Uh, so, the owner, the, basically the accreditation that uh, we started to organize in 2014 is based on the fact that the NGOs in each country they should take part to a training course that we organized before the accreditation itself. For taking part to this training course, the NGO they should had uh, applied for the accreditation and they should have a valid PIC code. After this, uh, we asked them to take part to this training course that is uh, in each country, more or less is four, day, four working days. And in this uh, uh, training course, we invite two people for each from each organization and uh, we work about different topics. Uh, some basic information about uh, what we are expecting as a AVS, as a quality standard, what accreditation is about and how they will handle with the project and sometimes also some self-evaluation. And then after the, this uh, training course they receive the visit of two accreditors immediately in the week after and the accreditor they will uh, do the normal accreditation process. After this we consolidate on the accreditation and they receive the, uh, quite uh, after one month normally the certificate and then they are visible on the website. After, for me, the main challenges is to first is to um, adapt and to uh, take into consideration the local context. Of course, uh, some um, strict rule and some uh, specific issue has to be tackled during the accreditation process and the accreditation interview. But at the same time, we have to take into, into consideration the local context, the local educational context, the uh, situation of the NGOs, and to have a balanced view uh, on uh, what it is um, necessary for uh, the whole pedagogical uh, process. And uh, at the end, what is the most important is that to have a, a, a project uh, very uh, suitable for youngsters uh, from 18 to 30 and um, that can they can found in this project uh, something uh, enriching and something valuable for them and that's the whole point of uh, the uh, meta uh, accreditation uh, European accreditation EBS is as important uh, as a recognition recognition point for uh, meta uh, countries organizations and EEC countries organization. That's the common point and the point that we can find that there, that, that makes a difference between the two regions is like I have the impression as I'm also an accreditor for EEC region that the Erasmus Press program is a well um, it's better known in the EEC region uh, than in the meta countries. So that's also um, a, a challenge for us to get the program uh, better known in the meta region and to still keep the improvement uh, that has been done since uh, many years in the EECA region. For the trainings of on arrival uh, on in the meter, mm -hmm. uh, we organize regionally for the moment because the number of the volunteers in South Mediterranean country is not so high that we can justify national training courses, even if costly is quite difficult. Works very well the training course that we organize in Jordan for the volunteer host in the Middle East because basically from Israel or from Palestine they can come by car so it's very easy. But in uh, Maghreb, so in Tunisia and Morocco, we try to do one time in Morocco, one time in Tunisia uh, with the volunteer of the region, but it's quite difficult. The issue is that now the geopolitical situation is so unstable that, for example, we are not able to ask to the volunteer from Palestine to come to Jordan, so maybe we have to do training call for three people. And so to, to one side, this is also reducing a bit the possible of sharing, but uh, taking a responsibility of making people travel in this moment uh, is a little bit out of what we want to do. The pool actually we are around 21 people, mostly people coming from the region, so from some Mediterranean country, in theory two for each country, plus some uh, uh, European trainer coming from Italy, uh, France, uh, and Portugal and so on. And the idea of this pool is that they work on the training for mentors and responsible of project in mixed groups, so normally there are the two people from the country plus one or two 
from the Europeans, and then uh, they are responsible also for the arrival in the military. And uh, mostly we try to have always one person that has quite a good experience about the AVS and Erasmus Plus, and some uh, people that are creating these experiences. Because as in our region, there was also another program, a Romantic Fund, that was more allowing for national activities. Some of our trainers are more experienced in Euromantic than in Erasmus Plus, so this needs time to be developed. Uh, concerning this experience of this first year and a half of uh, work as a pool, I'd say that the most interesting thing probably is the ability we, we have, the opportunity we have to uh, work together in the same system, uh, the pool of trainers, dealing with mentor training and EVS training cycle, and their creators and national agency from the other side. Working together and trying to build a common system which can increase the quality of EVS. So not only about uh, doing our staff of trainers, so do, delivering good trainings, but also trying to use the opportunity of the trainings also as a way to uh, build uh, skills that can be used for all the system, so that can really increase the quality of projects and also a bit uh, have a contribution to the monitoring process of what is going and what is happening in EVS at the moment in Europe. Something I think which could be useful also for other regions, uh, in my opinion, is the possibility to uh, interact between different roles, so different actors that are involved in EVS on a peer level and also sharing a lot on a peer level. So uh, going a bit farther the roles, the former roles, I'm a national agency, I'm an organization, I'm a trainer, but trying to, to really have a real sharing as well. Uh, a bit of this sense also of belonging to a big family, a big, uh, uh, a big group which is still living in, uh, in the region. And I think this, this kind of sense of belonging is also part of our identity now after one year now. The challenges that we are facing here in the region of Euromed, the challenges are connected to geopolitical problems which are influencing a lot uh, the trainings, for example. Uh, we try to do regional training, but very often it's really complicated to put countries together which are in conflicts uh, or dealing with some practical things like visa, but also political problems, uh, cultural challenges, which are in this period uh, with nowadays with uh, what's happened in the world is even more uh, difficult to work with uh, these cultural challenges. Uh, looking from both sides, from the program countryside, but also from the meta countryside, there are really big challenges that we will face um, in terms of cultural uh, clashes as well.